which redox reaction contains the largest change in oxidation state for sulfur? We've got four different equations below. So let's work out the oxidation states for the sulfur in each of these equations. So starting with equation A, we can see that our sulfuric acid here, we've got four lots of the oxygen, which at minus two for each oxygen, that gives minus eight for that part. And then we've got two lots of plus one for the hydrogen, which gives plus two. Therefore, to have a neutral compound overall, the sulfur will have to be oxidation state plus six there. And then on the right hand side, our, with our sulfur containing compound, we've got two lots of plus one again from the hydrogen. Therefore, the sulfur will have to be in oxidation state of minus two for this compound. So we're going from plus six to minus two. So that is a change of minus eight. So in equation B, our sulfur will just have an oxidation state of zero because it's in its elemental form. And then on the right hand side with the sulfur dioxide, we've got two lots of minus two from the oxygen giving minus four. Therefore, the sulfur will need to be in oxidation state plus four. So our change with this one is going to be plus four. For equation C, we've got, again, three lots of the minus two for the oxygen, giving minus six, but we need to have a minus two charge overall. Therefore, the sulfurs need to add up to plus four. So individually, the sulfur will have an oxidation state of plus two there. And then on the right hand side, we've got two different sulfur containing compounds. So our elemental sulfur, we know has an oxidation state of zero. And then our sulfur dioxide we worked out above, that will have an oxidation state for the sulfur of plus four. So our biggest change here is just a change of two. So we've got a change of minus two and a change of plus two there. So let's look at the last equation now. So again, we've got our elemental sulfur on the left, that's got oxidation state of zero. And then on the right, we've got that sulfuric acid again, where we worked out above that our sulfur has got an oxidation state of plus six. Therefore, our change here is plus six. So we can see overall that the biggest change in oxidation state is going to be from equation A, where we had a change of minus eight. So our answer will be A.